Hey Sagittarius, welcome to Awaken Blue Heart Tarot. My name is Danielle. For those of you who are joining me for the first time, welcome. For those of you who are back, hey y'all. <laughs> Alright, I hope you guys have been doing great. Um, this is going to be your reading for the second half of September. So starting today up until the end of the month. Um, yeah, so let's hop in and see, you know, what's the current energy. Alright, so I pre-shuffle, but I like to just give it, you know, a few more shuffles before we start. Okay, Spirit, what's going on with Sagittarius, please? Second half of September. What's going on with Sagittarius? Y'all, um, the song Medicine is playing in my background. Y'all remember that reading from, uh, you know, last week. So, hmm. Y'all want that karma stuff, huh? <laughs> Alright, let's see what's going on. Ooh, okay. Children. Your love life is being affected by children. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. One more for Sagittarius, please. One more card for Sagittarius, please. Oh, and there we go. Unrequited love. There's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this relationship going. Okay, Sagittarius. So for the second half of the month, it looks like for some of you guys, your love life is being affected by children. Or it could just simply mean that, you know, maybe you feel like somebody's childish. You know, somebody's inner child is like shining bright like a diamond and they're, they're very immature, you know. Um, but it is saying that you need to let go of control issues. But maybe the person that you're dealing with, you know, with unrequited love, it's like, you know, there's not enough attraction. There's not enough chemistry to keep, you know, the relationship going. So, yeah, let's break this down and, you know, see what's going on for the second half of the month. All right, Sagittarius. Cut the deck here. All right, Sag, bottom of the deck, you have the queen, excuse me, why did I say queen? Mm. King of Wands in reverse. So, again, some of you guys could be dealing with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius like yourself. If not, um, maybe the person you're dealing with is a player, okay? Yep, look at that, three of cups. Yeah, some of you guys could have found out about a three-party situation. Yeah, I remember that reading from last time, so, you know, maybe this is still lingering in the air, but definitely three-party situation, some of you guys found out about, and with the Ten of Cups in reverse, it's like, you know, again, you're not seeing happiness with this person. You don't see that contentment. You don't have it. You don't want it. You're over it, but, you know, you guys are weighing up some decisions here with the Two of Pentacles. Got to make a decision. Look, the devil. Some of you guys could be dealing with a Capricorn here. Um, if not, I feel like... The person that you're dealing with, they're very toxic, they're manipulative, they're sneaky. But it looks like with the Five of Swords in reverse, you guys are coming out of your head about it. I feel like there was a lot of anxiety at one point. Yeah, because look, there's a new opportunity coming for you guys with the world here. What's this new opportunity coming? Somebody could be traveling. Let's see. Tell me more about the world, please. Look, oh my God, look. Somebody wants love, Two of Cups. Somebody's coming in, Sagittarius. Maybe you have your eye on someone. Someone has their eye on you. Tell me about the Two of Cups, please. Sagittarius could be you. Like I said, you're dealing with another Sag like yourself, but uh, nope. I feel like it's this person. This person that you found out about this three-party situation, and I feel like they're coming to give you a love offer here. But you don't see balance with this person. You don't see a happy home with them anymore because they're toxic. They put you through, you know, this circus here. But look, somebody wants a new beginning. Tell me more. Oh, I saw it. Where'd it go? There it is. Yeah, it looks like, you know, you guys are up late at night worried about it. Or it could be them. Somebody's worried. Tell me more. Queen of Pentacles in reverse. I feel like you guys are embodying the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Let me see. Yep. It's like you when you guys look at this person, you no longer want to, want to put the time, effort, or energy into the situation. And you're focusing on yourself. You're over it. You know, this person, very manipulative. And it, with the Six of Wands here, it's like, you know, you want to have a victory by moving on. Or maybe they want to come back in and have a victory with you. But again, there's some type of codependent situation here. Some It's an addiction. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles in reverse, please. Yeah, somebody, somebody's dealing with someone from the past here. Y'all got me bumping into my crystals. Like, <laughs> yeah, 
Yeah, but it looks like you guys will be coming out of um, feeling like you were left out in the cold by this person. You know, they really hurt you. Yeah, you're coming out of being frustrated about the situation here, Sag. Yeah, but with the Knight of Pentacles, there is a message coming towards you, but someone is moving really slow. You could be dealing with a Gemini, or maybe somebody wants to give you a love offer again, but you don't, there's an imbalance here in this love situation. Yeah, and it's like, you know, you're letting go of them because you didn't like, you know, the options or, you know, the offers that they were giving you. You don't like what you're seeing, but... You know, Spirit is saying you guys are not using your intuition because it's like those seeds that you're planting, that you planted, excuse me, um, they're not growing. And with the Hermit here, you guys could be dealing with a Virgo, but it's asking you to take a step back to reevaluate the situation here because, yeah, you're not putting in the hard work anymore when it comes to this person. You're over it. You're tired. You're not, you did too much. Yeah, look, you're no longer going to be a fool here. You're not taking a leap towards this person anymore. It's like you want to move on, but I feel like they're holding on to you tight. Yeah, you guys could be arguing or some type of conflict going on. Look at that. Could be with an Aries, the Emperor in reverse. Or you just feel like this person um, doesn't bring stability into your life. And again, there's a decision. You got to make a decision or you made a decision. Tell me about judgment. Yeah, you guys made a decision, I feel like, to walk away, and you feel like you lost something here. Some of you guys could have been codependent to this person for finances. You know, maybe you're feeling like something's been lost. Maybe they drained you financially here. But with the Wheel of Fortune, if that is it, you do have money coming in, or it's just like saying you're moving on. You guys are finally moving on. You know, this person, okay, he's going to slide to the side. <laughs> Uh, what I was saying was like, you know, this person really hurt you. And it's just like, you know, you just took some time just to grieve. Try to, you're trying to heal, but you're getting ready to move on. You're moving on. You learned your lesson. You're moving on. You're coming out of worrying about it. Mm, Lord, y'all. Y'all still back and forth. Yeah, one minute with uh, the two of swords here. It's like you, you made a decision to walk away. But then in the same breath, you're kind of still thinking like, should I stay? Should I go? You know, but look, yeah, the seven of swords, it's like for those who are still like back and forth, like, should I stay? Should I go? It's kind of like one minute. It's like, you know, this person is sneaky. You know that they're sneaky. But then in the next breath, you feel like they need to clean up their act. And you're saying to yourself, if they clean up their act, you could give them another chance. Mm, okay. Yeah, somebody's coming in fast. Knight of Wands. Be careful, though. They're coming in fast. Just as fast as they can come in, they can leave right back out. The hangman, it's like, you know, every day you're getting stronger here. About the situation, um, with the King of Cups, some of you guys can be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or this person that you're dealing with, they're very emotional right now. Because just like, I feel like you guys cut communication. You're, you know, no longer talk. What I just say? Yeah, y'all cut communication. Queen of Swords in reverse, it's like she's not playing no more. You know, if she would have landed in the upright position like this, you see how it's like she's mad. She probably cussing him out, her out, whoever. But with that hand extended, she's still going to give him another chance. But because it laid like that, uh-uh, you cut it off, okay? And this person is upset. They are crying. My cards are flying. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, my God. Uh Sagittarius, we just talked about this. Let me let me bring this over here. I have the King of Cups, the Queen of Swords, and the Queen of Cups. So, y'all, I mean, two women. This person's a player. They, they were playing. And now they're, they're, they're upset because I, they really want to be with you. Just like what I told y'all in the last reading. I still feel like y'all cut it off, though. You know? Maybe it's saying that, you know... Some of you guys, you guys were just definitely emotional here. But justice is like, you're looking for the truth. You're looking for the truth. Yeah, because it's like, remember y'all found out this person was married and there's no commitment here. Maybe this person's emotional because they want to get out of this marriage for some of you guys. Tell me about the Hierophant in the reverse, please. Yeah, because look, these two cards, legal, commitment. Yeah, person was married. But I'm feeling like, the whoever was married, they're trying to get out of it now. They hurt you bad and they know it. Tell me about the Hierophant in reverse. Yeah, look, the sun in reverse. They're not happy. They're not happy. So I think they're trying to get out of it now. Or it could just be you trying to get out of this three-way three, three circus, you know? <laughs> You're trying to get out of it. But it's like, you know, somebody's trying their best not to look back at the past. But, Sag, I feel like you're looking at this person like they're very immature. 
and you know you're back and forth one minute you're frustrated next minute you're not one minute you want to open up and express how you really feel towards this person next minute you're not but there's communication coming in fast i feel like it's a love offer somebody wants to express something look at that somebody wants to express something ace of cups here somebody wants security in the situation somebody wants that give and take relationship somebody wants balance here it's you or maybe they want it with you. Somebody's coming in to express something, you know, and it's saying that, you know, you guys need to be positive or maybe you're trying to be positive. The King of Wands here, but somebody's not taking that leadership role or again, they're just a player. Tell me about the King of Wands in reverse. Yeah, somebody, I think they want to come and apologize to you, but somebody doesn't have confidence for what or in what the Knight of Cups. Yeah. Somebody doesn't have the confidence to end this situation. Death in reverse. Could be dealing with a Scorpio or a Leo here. But yeah, you don't have the strength. Somebody doesn't have the strength, but it's like, I don't think you guys are walking away. You haven't fully walked away for some of you. I feel like some of you guys have, but a lot of you haven't. Yeah, or maybe they don't want to walk away from you because there's communication coming in with the Ace of Swords. Yeah, somebody wants something to improve here, but they want to give you an offer. But sad, I feel like you're going to turn it down. And again, if they're married, like, what? come on, mm -mm, can't do that. No judging, but listen, because mm -mm. it's like they can't offer you what you deserve if they're in a whole nother situation. You know, look, three party, three party situation broke your heart, but you guys are coming out of being frustrated about it. Yeah, you guys made a decision here. What's the decision? Mm, okay. Y'all, some of y'all could be dealing with an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo, or this person that you're dealing with. I'm telling y'all, they're coming back in to give you an offer. Like they don't want to play anymore. Look at that. Oh, they want balance or they could just be trying to offer you money to keep you around be careful i'm feeling like yeah because things are going to move slow here yeah look this person's coming in they want to offer you um like hope a wish they want to give you something i feel like they want to give you a gift like i said they could be trying to give you money or maybe it's something that you hoping and wishing for that'll happen. Maybe this person is trying to get out of this situation. They want to come towards you now. Somebody wants a new beginning. Somebody wants to start over here. Y'all take it however it resonates. It's not for everybody. Nine of cups. Yeah, somebody wants some, this situation to improve. So guess what? The truth is getting ready to come out. Could be dealing with um, a Pisces here. But even with the truth coming out, guys, you're feeling like there's no balance in this situation. You know, there's no content meant here king of swords in reverse could be dealing with an air sign aquarius gemini libra or it's just like i said somebody's not cutting something off because they want to move forward with you they want to move forward and the truth is coming out i'm telling y'all could be dealing with a cancer here but it's like you guys don't see the situation turning around there's still a lot of conflict still a lot of things that's unresolved here yeah, and you're back and forth whether or not you want to stay, you know, positive. You want to be hopeful if your wish is going to come true with this person. Could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, somebody wants things to improve here. You can't make this up. Okay. But yeah, it's like you guys don't see a new beginning. Come on, I got three cards left. It always does. It's like the last three to four cards. <laughs> it doesn't want to come out okay come on there we go all right but it looks like you guys will be coming out of feeling like you were stabbed in the back uh with the situation you guys are trying to remain positive here um you're trying to manifest something into your life but it's still like you're worried you're carrying this burden in this situation here it's just like you don't know what you want to do for some of you guys some of you guys like uh -uh, i know what i'm gonna do I'm getting the hell up out of here. But for others of you, you're still weighing out the pros and the cons. So, yeah, you guys, please leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonates with you. Um, talk to you guys soon. Hope you guys enjoyed your reading. Oh, yes, um, if you guys would like to have a personal reading, uh, please feel free to email me at awakenedbluehearttarot at gmail.com. And I got you. All right, guys. Hope you have a great day. Bye.